Hello everybody, how are we today? I hope you're all doing really, really well. I'm just doing a very quick video because I'm getting ready for Easter and we always go away for Easter. So I've got to prepare the food, pack the van, all that sort of fun stuff. So I just thought I'd show you my latest Quilt As You Go pouch. This is a clamshell pouch. And, oh, there's an extra pin. Nice and big. Opens up. You can put it down like that. I initially made it because I wanted it for my headphones, but I made it too big. So, oh dear, what a shame. I'll have got an extra pouch to use. So I redid it and my headphones are in here. Look at that. Like a glove. And I've popped on a carabiner uh, clip so that I can hang it off my bag when I go travelling in 23 days. But who's counting? Okay, I'm counting. I'm counting because I'm looking forward to going over there. So, very cute clamshell bag. Um, just the, but use, using the Quilt As You Go method that I showed you for the easy zipper pouches. Aren't they cute? No one will have a headphone bag like that. And the best thing is when I take the headphones out, it folds up really thin. I'm just popping in my bag. It's not going to take up extra room. The My other headphones, which my husband will be using, the bag that it comes in, it, it's uh, like a really thick felt and it stays stiff, so I can't fold it down. But that's okay, I can put my bag inside that one. Anywho, moving right along. I was, <coughs> excuse me, asked in one of, a comment for back in January when I was doing the Junk Journal January every day. Someone asked me if I could do a quick video on how I made my faux vintage, uh, let me take it off, sticky tape. Or as my children used to say, stippy tape but uh so i mean it's really really easy and simple i'll just pop that to one side oh. where are you going uh, don't slip don't slip right now you can two ways this the way i've had done it before is uh, i'm not sure if you can actually maybe if i take the paper no, you can't see. I've, I've put two pieces of sticky tape on there already. And I've put a bit of white paper in just so that I can see. Uh, the problem with that is you can see on this one, uh, it's really hard to get your tape down flat. So it the alcohol ink pulls underneath. So I'll, I'll do those couple of bits you can see. I was going through my acetate, and this is off the packaging. You can, there's the hang cell part there. And this won't buckle, so all I need to do... Oh, that's just to protect my desk. Right. Oh, excuse me, I've got the hiccups. Where did they come from? So we just... Fill up our, and you can see I leave it off the end. That's so that I can start to, to easily take it off. I tend to just fold that bit so it doesn't get stuck to anything. Oops. This is the cheapest, dodgiest little tape dispenser. I need to get a better one. The, none of the tapes that you buy, <laughs> they're all too big for it. Uh,
last piece. So there, that's got all of the, I don't usually worry if there's uh, crinkles in the tape. It just gives more effect. There are bubbles underneath it. You could run a brayer over it if you wanted to. But the thing is, you're going to be taking it off, so I wouldn't worry too much. And I'll just put another, oh, don't drop it again, Mandy. Oh, there we go. Right here, just so that you can see when I make it. If you're using a page protector, stick it and use your fingers to put it down because otherwise you'll end up with it being like bowed up like that it won't sit very flat at all okay <clears throat> right Ah, the messy bit. Let's just cut this open. I've given a massive pile of these and I've used them in workshops and oh, 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 the pile doesn't seem to be going down at all. But then they do make good desk protectors as well because the alcohol ink is going to go all over the place. I uh, probably should put gloves on as well. But then I'd have to go inside and get them, so I'll just try and be careful. Right, so I'm using, sorry, I should tell you, this is um, alcohol ink. It's by Poppy Craft uh, in, in Australia. I'm not sure exactly who makes it. Um, but they're just little, what does it say? 35 ounce bottles. And it says odorless and they are, well, they still have a bit of a smell, but not anything too alcoholic-ish. So I've got orange and a, um, can you see, orange and a, a yellow orange and I need oh, it's lemon yellow can't read them uh, I want a brown uh, it's coffee. coffee I found coffee a little bit dark in this particular range okay there we go so I've got oops let's go back so I've got a brown a coffee an orange and a orange yellow and the thing is you can just play around with the colors now I'll uh, I've got a bit of tape here there's no tape on this side and I've completely covered this one so what I thought I'd do is I'll experiment with the different colours on this one so you can see how they how they look and then when we're happy with it I'll do this acetate. Uh, this is just your normal uh, ink dauber and I've, this one I've reserved especially for alcohol ink as you can tell it's covered and I'll just use the same pad. So if I go like that I'll probably when I get some colour. No, it's been sitting there too long. So, all right, so I just randomly dot uh, some colour on. Which one do I want to use? What was that other one? A lemon yellow. Oh, I'm just going to get out lemon yellow as well because it's a bit lighter. Or yellow. Mm. The thing is, you don't know what they're going to, you can't go by the label. You don't know what they're going to look like until you take them out of the bottle. What if I go like this? So this one, I'll write down what they are. And you can see, uh, where's the Sharpie? This is lemon. This is a good way to do it. Right, what have we got? 
orange and orange oh that doesn't look like my writing at all it's a bit hard to write on there orange yellow that one is lemon yellow and we've got coffee and brown okay because you're going to do this and it's just going to be to your taste so you can you know what i might like you might like it a, a little bit of a different color that's very dark the brown probably won't use that one coffee also very dark let me get the, otherwise I'm going to put my hand in them if I don't go and order it. Because <laughs> that's Murphy's Law. Orange. I don't think I've used that one. Where's that pin? <clears throat> no, I haven't. Orange. It's a very ready ready orange isn't it orange yellow oh, I don't think I've used this one either so they're sealed uh, when you buy your alcohol inks that's a nice color probably a bit too orange for what we want though and this is the lemon yellow So I bought this as a little set. It was a promo. I got it for not, it wasn't very expensive. Uh, and hence why I've got all these colours. If I, I'm just going to spread these a little so you can see. That orange is divided in, can you see? The colours have separated. Right, now, I want to, you want that old vintage look, so even though I thought that these were a bit too dark, that coffee might be alright, to just redo that orange, because I think I smushed the coffee into it. Smush it around, there we go, yeah, that's... That's almost red, isn't it? <clears throat> Excuse me, I got a bit froggy in my throat. So I think I will stick with uh, the lemon and the coffee. And this, the yellow orange is also separating the colours, which for this type of effect is okay. I'm not going to use the plain orange because you can see it is separating and it's going like red and purple in there. So I, that's not the colours that I want. So I'm going to stick to here, which is obviously what I've used before because I had to open all of those ones. Right. I'll leave that in the box because I'll have to open other ones eventually. Right. Okay. So a little bit of... Uh, what did we say? We're going to use these. So let's put lemon yellow away and there. Right. So I'm, all I'm left with is yellow, brown and coffee. They're almost the same. Coffee slightly separating, but that's okay. Now, is that going to stay? Stay. I just tend to dot. <clears throat> oh, no, it's not going to stay. Just some random dots on my little foam there. I always, um, even though these have got, they, if they fall over, that doesn't fall out. I'm still a bit paranoid, so I I put the lid straight back on. 
because I'm a messy maker. So now I want more yellow than the brown because the brown is very dark. So I'm just going to come back and put a little bit more on. So this isn't saturated, but what will happen, I just gently pounce on, on my tape. It looks very leopardy, but you can just keep on going around. If you don't want that type of look which makes it look like it's been in water you can just slide it you can just oops, slide it oh I'm, I'm drying out now so hold on let me just you can just slide it along and give your tape just a ever so ever so slightly look but i i, I really like this where all the where it blooms out and there should be a Silver, what's this one? I've got gold here, we don't want gold. You can always just use plain alcohol. Oh, here, here's some I prepared earlier. This is you just buy, I buy this from Bunnings. Um, it's supposed to be for cleaning your computers and stuff. You can always put a little squirt and can you see how that it just makes all of the alcohol colour go back. You can come on and you don't like it, that's okay. Come on and give it a pounce and smush it around. Oh, that one, <laughs> this really smells. But you can see how it's going underneath there. So then <clears throat> I would put that aside to, to dry like that. And I usually leave it overnight. Um, let me get a piece of white paper. Because otherwise you won't be able to see what I'm doing. Yes, there we go. You can also just dot it straight on here and then go. Let's do a bit of that. And, uh, you can just. Go on and dot it around. Come in with your other colour. Being at like it does dry quickly, uh, the alcohol, so you don't have an extended playing time, which is why I like to pop it on onto the, oops, I think I like the coffee better. Let's go with that. That's why I like to put it on the, on the foam. Right, okay, well, I'm just going to, I'm going to fill this up and I'll, I'll just do it in fast forward and you can see what it looks like at the end. Okay, now it's very even over here, so I'm going to use the this one. I'm going to try and spray it from up here. Doesn't that look cool? And then I'll just smush it in. Looks like it's been water damaged when with the. Uh, Cleaning alcohol on there. So if 
it's, it's, it's pretty quick and you have to work quickly because the alcohol ink does dry. So. And you just build up your layers and until you're happy with with what's there. Oops, that's a bit too much brown, Mandy, a bit too much. But that's okay. So remember that, of course, you're only going to be using a, a small part of the tape. So even if you look at the whole lot and you go, oh, my God, that, I've ruined it. It looks awful. You actually haven't ruined it because you're only going to be using, a, you know, an inch or so. And and it's all good. I just like to keep building until I'm happy with the, <coughs> excuse me, with the colour. And uh, I just keep on building up the layers. And that's another good thing about it being on the white. You can, even though I'd be putting it more on the cream, uh, you can kind of see what it would kind of look like. See, I've added that bit of brown and it's made the yellow come out. Keep adding more. Looks like water damage, actually. All right. Now, you can't, I can't dry this with a heat tool because it'll melt the, the sticky tape. Won't stand up to that. Right, I'm happy. I'm going to stop. Got to stop. Stop, stop, Mandy. Stop. That's enough. Okay. And I'm, I will leave that overnight to dry. So, <clears throat> and you can see there, the alcohol sort of pushed it away. Now, if I go back to the one that's dried, let's put these all away. the lid. Oh, here it is. Okay. okay, so I can't use that one now because it um, be too much. But if I just grab this journal, just opening it to the first page, and I, where I've folded it over at the top, I can just peel it off or I can bring it from this end, I mean, it doesn't really matter. And I like to just give it a little, uh, either you could, you could use your sticky tape dispenser to get that jagged look. Just pop this up there as if I've, you know, someone's had to repair a little rip. How cute does that look? Okay. Of course, depending on, let's see if we can find something else. Depending on what you put it on, the background will be different. So if you put a little, just a little snip and then just tear it, then it's not, not precise. So here I could go up here and just pop it over to the other side. 
these two. And the other thing is, because I've used a, how wide is that? It's two centimetres, uh, so what's that, about three quarters of an inch. You can also cut it down so that it's little. You know, what if I... Like that. Or maybe this was... See? I don't, I don't have to use it that wide. Generally, I don't use it this way. And it lasts forever. So I've only used one strip of this. I just And I just leave it on there because it just is nice and easy. And so, no. Where else could I put a little bit? I could put, I could put it here. How does that look? So you saw there I, I, I nipped it and I just let it rip until it came right down. I could have gone round to the other side if I wanted to. But, uh, that's okay. Oh, actually, look, there's a little rip there. <laughs> so when you actually do have a rip in the paper. It's not very long. You can just... Put it over the rip and I'm not going to make that go around I'm going to trim that bit so when I was experimenting I did think that maybe the alcohol going underneath might uh, interfere with the stickiness but it doesn't so I mean how cool you can and you can even see can let me go up, you can see the rip underneath the tape very cute so I hope that helps if you have been struggling to make your own vintage tape. When it's on here, it looks really weird, of course. But as you can see, when you take it off, so this one obviously is a lot darker than what this will be. Uh, and this one's kind of, I think the white so you can see, it. this one's kind of mid. It's not quite as yellow as that. So there you go. So that's how I make my faux vintage tape. Stippy tape. I, I don't know why my kids used to say that, but I remind them of it all the time. <laughs> so I uh, hope everyone has a really wonderful happy Easter. I uh, last weekend did my picnic in the park with my band and, and uh, my daughter brought my dog along and he he was in his element because the people cook, uh, cooking the sausage sizzle uh, dropped one. Oh, would your dog like a sausage? Oh, my gosh, you should have seen him. It was like he had uh, never been fed in his life. <laughs> so he's scoffing down these, uh, s these uh, sausages that had been dropped. And uh, but I'll put up a cute photo. There's a photo my daughter took and he's actually wanting a sausage but it looks like he's singing to um, my friends and I playing in the background. <laughs>
I'll probably will be off in Vietnam so I'll have a little bit of a break because I just don't think I'm going to have time to pre-record any videos for you to see well see see what happens but never know you have a lovely lovely weekend happy Easter toodles <laughs>